All right, everybody, welcome back. Welcome back. We are on Cert Master Labs for Security Plus 601. And what we are going to go through in the next few sections are password cracking. All right, we're going to go through some password cracking tools. We're going to learn why strong password policies are important and effective to combat against password crackers. So the whole synopsis behind this section is we are system administrators and we are sending out a survey to our employees to be filled. The survey does not look harmless. We are asking for their birthdays, their spouse's name, the anniversary and the pet names. Okay, in the real world, you don't wanna fill out a survey like this or at the very least you wanna question your employer why you have to fill this out because this is PII information. All right, so I've already created my users here. So what we're gonna do is create user accounts based off of that table, based off of this these responses. Okay, and the way we're gonna do that, I want you to log into your Kali machine. Log into your Kali machine. Open up your terminal. Okay. And we are going to add the users one by one. All right, I'll go through it with you. I'll probably end just end up creating test users to show you. So we're going to use the add user command. User 01 is the first user. I already have this user created. So I'm going to do test user. And it's going to ask you for a password. User 01's password is going to be here. When you enter the password, you will not see it in the field. Okay, when you're typing it in, you will not see it. So I'm typing, 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 typing. You don't see anything here. That's okay. You're gonna type it twice. Okay. Test, test, boom. And then you're gonna do the same thing for the other users, but let's do it the easy way. After you create your first user, I want you to hit the up button on your keypad you had user 01, just hit the up button, backspace, replace it with user 02, hit enter, type in the password, type it in again to confirm it, hit the up button, switch it to user 03. If it's 02, you just backspace, hit three, and so on and so on. Okay, and do that all the way down to user 06. So you might wanna pause this video until you finish that. But once you catch up, score it to make sure that you have these users created. And we are going to go on to the next section. Okay. So now we're going to grab a word list to use with our password cracker. Password cracker we're going to use is John the Ripper. It's a pretty cool password cracking tool. There are other ones such as Medusa and NCrack, which are pretty easy to use as well. Okay, but first let's go ahead and grab a word list that Kali Linux comes pre-built with, which is another um, pretty nice feature of Kali, is that it comes built with word lists for us, word lists that we can use to crack other people's passwords. So we're gonna un extract it. We're gonna extract this file. It's a word list. It's called rocku.txt.gz. All right. And if you don't understand what we're looking at, this is the file location where the rocku.txt file is. Okay. If we wanted to go there, we can change directories to user share word list. And then you see a bunch of different word lists here, but this is the one we want. I'm going to go back to where I was. I'm just going to hit CD. Okay. And gun zip user share word list rock you.txt.gz. So that is going to be extracted. All right. We have that now. So let's go ahead 
and add to this word list. We want to add some of that information that is on our, right? That's on from our table, from our survey. So on a Windows operating system, you would probably open up this text file, that rocku.txt file with notepad. We're going to use Vim, the Vim editor. So let's use, let's tell Vim the file that we want to open. Remember, you can hit the tab button to help you out. Um, I don't think I spelled that right. Uh, okay, there we go. See, this is the word list here. There are a bunch of different words in here, a bunch of them. All right, I'm not gonna scroll through all of it. I'm going to hit the I key, the I button. Right, this is how we start typing in Vim. Space, space that out. And we are going to enter 0610, 1998, 1988. We're gonna enter these, these line of words here that they have for us. Duke, George. I'm gonna take these white spaces out just in case. Okay, and I'm going to, there, there are a few ways you can exit out of them. First, you wanna hit the escape button. You could hit the colon and then WQ to write and save your files. Or you can hit the shift key and double tap the letter Z, which is what I'm familiar with. So we're good to go. Make sure I didn't add anything extra into this file. All right, my, our stuff is still here. Okay. Once you have that done, let's go up to the next section where we actually use John the Ripper. All right, so before we use it, let us create this text file of usernames and password hashes. Before we create it, let's let's look at this stuff first. So we're gonna create a list of users and passwords from these locations. Okay, let's look at what's in this location first so you know what, what's going on. Let's do cats. Remember, if you wanna open something up, cat, Etsy, password. You see a bunch of usernames and a bunch of other identifiers. So what we're looking at right now we have the username, the user ID, and their home folder, right? And you can scroll up and see a bunch of other users here. Okay, if we go look at cat Etsy shadow, we see a list of hashes. Okay, these are the hashed passwords for our users. Okay, these are the hash passwords for our users. So look at user 01 here. This is their password that is hashed. User 02, this is their password that is hashed and so on. All right, we don't store the passwords in plain text on our systems, not in Windows or Linux. They are stored in ciphertext. So let's use this command right to combine those look those files we just looked at into one so unshadow password etsy shadow we're going to combine these files into this crack this file okay so let's look at it cat crack this file all we did was combine the two files into one. All right, that's all we did. So after that, let's run John the Ripper to crack that file. 
What is it going to use to crack that file? This word list. All right, we have to tell John where the word list is and what we want it to use the word list against. So, John. User share. Crack this file, hit enter, and look at it going to work. Look at it going to work. Well, while that's going to work, let's open up another terminal. Okay, let's open up another terminal. That's going to do its thing. It's going to try to find the pass, the, the clear text version of the passwords. Um, it actually is. <laughs> and let's do John dash dash show crack this file. Okay, so far, nothing yet. Let's score this. All right. Go ahead and check if we have any updates. Okay. All right, so far it has five password hashes have been cracked and three more left. All right, so before when we looked at this Etsy password file, right, we didn't see the password next to the username in clear text. Now we do, thanks to John the Ripper. All right, so Let's go ahead. Step five wants us to use the top command. The top command shows us programs that are utilizing programs, resources that are utilizing a lot of our systems resources. And here you can see that John the Ripper is using the most. It's using 98% or 99. It's, it's going up percent of our CPU, which is a lot. All right, this could actually crash the system if we wanted to run other things. So let's cancel this. All right, we're gonna go back to John the Ripper, hit Control C to cancel. And that should be gone now, which it is. All right, the top command is very useful. Very nice handy dandy tool to have on to know about. And all right, so we have that done. I'm gonna close this terminal. And let's save those results from this command that we ran. Remember, crack this file. Let's save those results to another file. Okay, we're gonna save it to results.txt. Now, if we opened up results.txt, you can see our data here. Score that. All right, so what did we just do? We were practicing with a password cracker, okay? We use the password cracker to try and assess weak passwords versus strong passwords. If you notice, there is one password that has, you know, one of the passwords that we created have still not been cracked. So let me go back for a second. We see this password. Obviously, it's very weak. It is a dictionary word, right? There are no special characters in there. Here's another password called Duke, which is very weak. It is a word. George, weak. This one is weak because it's it's short. It's only four characters, right? It's not going to take a password cracker like John that, that long to, to crack it. This is a pretty strong password. I mean, as you can see, we weren't able to pick that up yet. Right, it's pretty strong because one, it's longer than eight characters. It has alphanumerical characters and it has special characters. It's gonna take a password cracker like John the Ripper a longer time to crack that. All right, so this is why complex 
and long passwords are necessary. A good, strong password policy is imperative, okay? It is imperative to securing your resources. So let's go to our comprehensive questions. Which of the following answers best describes the purpose of the survey in the attack? To gather specific passwords, to be more engaging with fellow employees, or to gather likely passwords? I like this answer. Which of the following best describes the process the hacker used in the simulated attack? Read, read the passwords from Etsy Shadow File and then added them to the word list. Gathered information from users that is often used for password and then added that information to the word list. Crack the root user's password and then reset the passwords. Ask users for the passwords directly and then added them to the word list. And the question was, which of the following best describes the process the hacker used in the simulated attack? Okay, let's, I think B is a pretty good answer. Maybe the best answer here, right? Because we did gather information. Now, have you seen these kinds of surveys online? All right, this isn't a great question. It's not scored. You can do yes or no. Um, I have seen these surveys online, especially when you know you're you're getting those uh, questions or those unlocking your pat unlocking your account questions when you have to and when they ask you certain things like what is your date of birth, what is what is your favorite sport, where did you live, where did you meet your spouse, you know those special questions they ask when you are temporarily locked out of an account. All right, so be careful when you answer those questions. You typically don't want to use personal information, right? So if you like this lab, please hit the like button. If you have a, a particular password cracker that you enjoy more, um, please leave that in the comment section and we can run, use one of them on, on our Cyber Thursdays. Okay, you all have a good one. Don't forget to grade your lab and I will see you on the next section.